Came into September very dry and uh, much of the month was on the dry side, but that's changed in the last couple of weeks. Here's a look back at September so far and yeah, through the first 10 days of the month, we only had a few 100ths of an inch. Then we picked up some measurable rain on the 11th and 12th. We had some more measurable rainfall events, but it's been especially the last couple of days when the rain really fell and we received close to two inches in Madison. But some areas received more than that. New Glarus went over four inches, Brooklyn over three, as did Boscobel. Uh, uh, close to three inches in Belleville, Belleville uh, Muscaday, Fulton, uh, and also as we went into southern Wisconsin, you'll notice Dodgeville at close to two, Portage at 1.8, there's Madison 1.9, Lancaster at 1.4 inches. Another way to look at this is to look at Doppler estimated rainfall. This is the last five days. You notice the color scheme here. Anything in yellow is uh, around two inches, orange is three, and red is four. So much of southern Dane County, southwest Dane County had heavy rainfall, as did Lafayette uh, County, and, uh, right around Darlington. And as you go into southwest Wisconsin, much of Grant, uh, Crawford, and Richland County had heavy rains as well. If I put some numbers on this, generally two to uh, four inches across much of the area. And uh, that was definitely a help for the dry weather conditions that we've had. It should make a big dent in the drought that we've uh, been dealing with all summer long and now into the fall. But things are starting to wind down. We have generally just some spotty light showers out there, all due to an upper air low pressure system. The movement is from east to west, just like yesterday. And what's happening? We have a low pressure system aloft. It really doesn't show up at the surface, but the, this upper air feature has been the reason for all this wet weather. But this low is going to move aside by Thursday. Conditions will be drying out as a ridge of high pressure starts to build in. As we go into the weekend, an upper air high pressure system will move through. That's going to give us sunshine with that sunshine, warmer temperatures. And as we progress into Monday, we'll get the southwestern airflow which will pump the warmth our way. This is what we call an omega block with a big trough off to the west, a ridge in the nation's midsection, another trough to the east. Once this establishes itself, it breaks down very slowly. So we're going to be in for an extended period of dry and warm weather. Future track shows the showers dying away quickly and by morning we'll just have mostly cloudy skies, some patchy fog. We stay generally cloudy until late in the day when the clouds thin out. We'll see more fog for Friday morning, but that should lift out quickly, bringing us with plenty of sunshine through the balance of the day on Friday. Now temperatures overnight will be dropping down to the upper 50s near 60. We reach the upper 60s to low 70s tomorrow afternoon. And then as we go into Friday, high temperatures will be generally in the mid 70s, but but the warming trend isn't doesn't end there. Here we are Saturday, low to mid 80s. Sunday, a repeat performance with a lot of sunshine. Forecast tonight, scattered light showers coming to an end this evening, then just mostly cloudy, low 59. Tomorrow, some patchy fog early, otherwise mostly cloudy, seasonably cool with a high of 69. Nothing seasonably cool about the rest of the forecast, though. After morning fog Friday, we'll turn mostly sunny with a high of 75. There's that weekend forecast. Get out and enjoy this one with mostly sunny skies, highs and low 80s, but it doesn't end there. We keep the dry, warm, weather going right into Wednesday. Indeed, there are indications that uh, the dry and warm weather will last right into the uh, following weekend, too. I was just going to ask. Or is this our last chance for an 80 degree weekend? Uh, I'll never, I won't say that no, quite never yet. Say uh, never. We could have two weekends consecutive up around 80. All right, for the summer lovers who are could still happen. holding on. Yeah. All right, it could happen, Bob says.